This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, buddy! Alright everybody, welcome back to Higarashi When They Cry, Chapter 1. So, uh, looks like... <laughs> The beginning of this game, at least, was pretty lighthearted. Nothing really serious has happened yet, although apparently somebody died in this town, and their body was apparently... I can't remember if it was, like, discarded in the garbage dump at some point, or if, like, the body was never found. I don't really know. But either way, it seems like there's a bit of a mystery going on here, and this will be very, very interesting. <laughs> And yes, hopefully we will finish this before October. And by that I mean, we will finish this before October ends. Even if I have to stream multiple times uh, this in a week, I will do that. Anyhow, continuing today, looks like we are at end of chapter 2 of chapter 1. This whole game that I'm playing right now is chapter 1, Onikakushi. But apparently chapter 1 has multiple chapters within it, so... Apparently we promised Rena that we were going to help her get a Colonel Sanders statue out of a garbage dump. You know, just pretty typical high school stuff. Nothing weird going on there. <laughs> yep, see? I'm sorry. Colonel Randy, because obviously they couldn't do the actual Colonel Sanders with the copyright and all of that, but... It's, it's the same thing. Oh, that's that's awesome, Proxima. Well, I'm really happy you're able to join the stream now, if, if the game is that important to you. Very happy indeed. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be able to stream it. Thus far, it's been very good. Even that was a little weird. Like, we're not encouraging kidnapping in this game, I hope. Wow, calling a guy four eyes because he has glasses. How original. That's fair. Oh, it wasn't a dump, it was a construction site. I'm sorry. It looked like a dump. You know, just... just typical girl stuff. <laughs> it's unrefined. Mm. Fair enough. It had been bugging me since yesterday, like an itch I couldn't scratch. I've never gotten into fanfics. I think at this point, if if I wanted to do like a fanfic, I would rather sooner just make my own original story. I think, but to each their own. And uh, creative writing can be very fun, regardless of what it is. Hearing an ominous word like "thought" come from Rika-chan's mouth startled me. So, what the heck? So I'm only able to be here because the protest succeeded? Hey, Rena. Hey, Satogo. Who uses that phrase any? Well, hang on. This game takes place in like 1982 or something, so never mind. Actually, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> Satogo, one word. Wow. Satoko seems very full of herself, and I don't like it. Who was she calling a maiden? If Satoko really was a maiden, she wouldn't have reacted like that. The usual hijinks ensued. Hey, I was close! <laughs> Alright, Mion, you're class president of one class. Don't let the power go to your head already. Oh, 
Well, Rena was the one who was like, you should join our, like, friend group, which we already kind of were a part of. <laughs> what was with that laugh? <laughs> Alright, Satoko, why does every visual novel have to have that one girl who's just really annoying? The three that Mion had queried voiced their approval. Oh my gosh, you're... wait. Hang on, let me do some math. Oh my gosh, you're right. They would be in their 50s today. Oh, that's crazy. I'm old! <laughs> Hello, Nintendo Addict. Welcome. <laughs> Rena, that's a bald-faced lie. I saw you punch me last stream. This was starting to sound a bit sketchy. So what kind of club was it? It's the Grave Robbing Club. Game Club? I can get behind this. This sounds awesome. Can we play Dominion and all 20 expansions? Rika-chan was the only one to answer my question with a pertinent response. Thank you, Rika. I appreciate you. So basically, this club put Mion's hobby of collecting games to use. By playing the various games that Mion had hoarded every day. It seemed that, depending on the day, there were prizes for the winner or a penalty for the person who finished in last place. Oh, I don't like that. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, um... Mion... You're getting a little too into this, me thinks. I'm with Keiichi. How about we just play for fun? That's that's what I'm all about. I mean, I'm definitely going to try to win, but I'm also not going to obsess over it. And I'm also not going to do anything stupid if I lose. <laughs> Oh, brother. Uh, I don't think that this is Sword Art Online, so I don't think that we die <laughs> in real life, but I love the reference. <laughs> I get that reference. Oh, I don't like that rule. That's implying that you need to cheat. Uh-uh. We are, we are, we are anti-cheating. The way Satoko said it, it sounded like she was saying, use any means necessary. Yeah, and we're going to learn why that's a bad thing in a distant future Let's Play of mine. A Let's Play that will probably not get uploaded until 2024 or 2025. But it's already been recorded. <laughs> I knew what they were trying to say. In a game where everybody's aiming for the top, it's rather unsportsmanlike to play just for fun. There's a difference between playing to win and, like, I will cheat to win if that's what it takes. Like, th there's a big difference there. With that, I was finally ready for the rite of initiation, my baptism into the club. Club or cult? Given that this game is rated M... And, a and is classified as a horror game, I'm guessing that this actually is a bit of a cult. You know what? I think maybe I'll just worry about myself. This initiation looks like it's going to be rough. Mion began fishing around in the student lockers in the back of the room. They have the games here at the school? Well, it's club equipment, so I guess that's fine. Are you saying that I can't handle Dominion with all 20 expansions? You're wrong. Okay, 
You mean old maid? <laughs> Don't go politically correct on me now. Yes, you can. That sounds very stupid. Permanent? She wants to draw on her faces with permanent marker? <laughs> no promises, Nintendo Attic, but have fun with your cats. Satoko cheered the idea on. She didn't even flinch at the thought of such a severe penalty. It seemed like she was raring to go. If it's going to be like this, then I can't lose either. Hang on. Whoever shuffles does not get to be the one to cut the deck. Everyone knows this. Old Bachelor is pretty much the same as Old Maid. Oh, it is. is it a different game, slightly? There's only one difference. There's no Joker. Wait, so there's no Old Maid? Then what's the point? In its place, one card is pulled out at the start. Meaning there will be one card without a match left over at the end. That's literally just Old Maid. You don't know which card will end up being the Joker. Oh, is that the difference? Eh, it's a pretty thrilling game. Is it? <laughs> Mion took out one card and left it face down on the table. Everybody stared at the card intently. But the rest of them were very serious. They didn't seem as relaxed as I was. It's probably because they're obsessed. They compared their cards with to the one face down, all the while gauging each other's reactions. It was as if they could see what the face down card was. No, it couldn't be. Uh, if that's the case, A, they are really obsessed, and B, we should play with a fresh deck. She didn't deny it, which means... Oh, this is dumb. Play with a fresh deck, you dunces! She said that so matter-of-factly. Nice pun. I lashed out angrily, but it was rather obvious that I was at a disadvantage. After all, they'd gone so far as to memorize the wear and tear for each individual card! This wasn't a simple game of Old Bachelor. If this was a test, then they were playing with the answer sheet in front of them! Bring it! I'll take advantage of your carelessness and beat you all at your own game. Quick, Keiichi, scratch the cards so that, even more so that they can't tell which one is what. <laughs> that baseless confidence would soon be crushed. <laughs> you should not have a face like that when you are playing cards. If you can tell exactly what cards that I have to begin with, then we are playing with a fresh deck. San, yon, kyu, jack, queen. Yeah, yeah, I'm not playing with these people. They're crazy. These people are insane. Oh, brother. I thought I was prepared, but for it to be this brutal, just overwhelming! <laughs> yes, we are! <laughs> what the heck? Not even a hint of mercy! Rena, even Rika chan! These club activities weren't to be trifled with. An alumnus of this club would definitely survive in the cruelest of situations. If our entire class had self-detonating collars strapped to their necks and were dropped into a deathmatch on a deserted island, these guys would probably take it to, to it like fish to water. I can already picture their joy as they hunt down each of their classmates. They do seem a little crazy. 
トータルで一番少ない人が優勝。If everybody can tell what cards every single person has, doesn't that just mean whoever goes first wins? That's really dumb. では、ケイチはビリなので五です。There's already a five marked down on my scoreboard. や、やっぱりさ、綺麗なトランプでやらない。Thank you. Yes, this isn't even a game if you just. This is literally like they can just see what cards they are. That's not even a game. What the F kind of an excuse is that? You guys are all psychos. Oh, yeah, we established this in the first stream. Rena is hardcore crushing on Keiichi. Like, no question. <laughs> Okay, Satoko, I'm really sick of the attitude. A petite hand laid itself on top of my head, which was trembling from uncontainable frustration. It was Rika chan's. Don't patronize me, Rika. Thanks to Rika chan's words of encouragement, I was able to calm down. You need to be calm, especially when you're cornered. That's the power I could muster during this crisis. Think clearly, Keiichi Mayabara. Take your time and look at the cards carefully. It's just as Rena said, several of the cards have their own distinct markings, making them stand out. Memorizing them should be pretty simple. Think about what you can do in this situation. Try everything in your power to improve your chances of victory. I covered the uniquely marked cards with my hands or other cards, arranging them in such a way that they couldn't be seen. I couldn't let any of those precious hints slip me by. All information is a weapon. Then it was my turn. Satoko fanned out her cards for me. I need everyone to start wearing. <laughs> no, you know what we need to do? We need to take this into Arthur's treehouse with all the mirrors set up so I can see their hands. That would make it fair. <laughs> There was a bit of dismay in her expression. Like she doesn't want it to be taken. That kind of expression. I won't let that momentary lapse slip me by! <laughs> Hi, Marty, welcome. Hey, I do not like anime. Visual novels are different. I get to control the screaming in this. And I can skip past the parts that I don't like. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Shipping wars, eh? <laughs> Already this is a little too yelly for me, but... Got it. Seven of spades! A cheer of ooh rain out. Yeah, yeah, eat it, Satoko. It wasn't for memorizing the markings. Those slight changes in their expressions as I was selecting a card were enough. Can't I, though? She was startled by her own misread. Of course, everyone else was, too. They told them apart by different marks. That mark was a nail scratch. So, I put- YES! He did what I told him to! Scratch the backs of the card so they can't tell anymore! <laughs> a new one on it! Yes. Clap, clap, clap. I still think we should be playing Dominion instead. Having defeated the Forerunner, Mion, my brilliant battle, left me ecstatic. But by, by total points, it was already set in stone that Mion would win and I would finish last. I laughed haughtily, selecting the tone of my voice carefully to get on Mion's nerves. Okay, everybody in this game is a duple ghost, with all of these star symbols. That was the dumbest evil laugh I've ever heard, Keiichi. 
That should be the proverbial slap in the face to Mion, who was at the top already and ensured victory. Okay, I'll get my pistol. Is there any downside to me doing this if I lose? She fell for it. A chance for an upset that wouldn't be possible without gouting her into it. Man, Keiichi is manipulative AF. <laughs> but you know what? They deserve it. Mion discarded two cards from her hand and replaced one with the Joker card that was on the table, then shuffled the resulting hand behind her back. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that so? The other three gulped nervously at this unexpected turn of events. Mion grasped one card in each hand and thrust them out at me. First, I needed to inspect them closely. The card on the right had no distinguishing marks. I couldn't tell which one it was. Come on, just look at the mirror that Arthur set up. <laughs> Looking closely at the card on the left, I saw a little wear. It wasn't one I hadn't seen before. I didn't let that bit from Satoko slip by me. Mion collector ton. I didn't recognize the mark on the left card from that small number that I had memorized. I didn't know what the left card was, but I could tell from Satoko's reaction that the card had already appeared during the game. Since it had already appeared before, it meant that it definitely wasn't the Joker. Hmm. The left card definitely wasn't the Joker. If I could trust that theory, then I should have been able to declare that the card on the right was the Joker. Even without Mion's taunting, the one on the right was the most suspicious. But it wasn't... wasn't it a bit too rash to decide solely based on Satoko's reaction? Maybe! More... carefully. Ah! I remember now. That mark. The left card. No doubt about it. The Seven of Clubs! I've won! The card on the left was the Seven of Clubs. So that meant that the card on the right was... The Joker! Unless she didn't shuffle the Joker in. And then just before my hand touched the right card, I froze. <laughs> See, that's a better evil laugh. <laughs> there was a wave of murmurs amongst the onlookers at my sudden halt, right before I was confirmed the right card was the Joker. <laughs> Mion let loose an unexpected question. Everyone else was baffled. Also, this music is a bop. No, I think that Mion just lied to us. Everyone's attention snapped to the discard pile at the same time. The truth of the matter couldn't be discerned from that sloppy pile. It was the first time since the start of the match that a shadow ran across Mion's expression, and I didn't let that slip by. Then, with a grand flourish, I declared it loudly. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to scream that, bro. 
It was an intense moment, was it? That one second felt like an eternity for everyone there. Breaking that silence, the first to speak was Mion. What happened was basically 20 minutes of nothing. That was probably the greatest compliment Mion could give. Mion accepted her defeat, dropping cards from both hands. My comeback victory! Rikachan placed her hand on my head and began petting it, congratulating me on my victory. Okay, that's a little weird. Rena and Satoko gaped at us, as if they'd seen a ghost. Oh, what? Huh? Then what's the meaning of... At that moment, Rena let out a small shriek. <laughs> Everyone froze. No, it was just me. It was the answer everyone was certain about. Mion picked the card up from the losing hand. Oh, forever, this is dumb. <laughs> this is literally 20 minutes of literally nothing happening. She turned it around. That was the card that proclaimed the victor of this duel. The card under the Seven of Clubs. Unbelievable! It was the Two of Diamonds! It, it was a setup behind the setup! If I had just picked the right one without reading so deeply into it. He suffered analysis paralysis, as so many of us do. I don't want to be in this club anymore. You guys are crazy. As I slumped to my knees, dazed, everybody let out a round of applause for the excellent effort I gave despite my defeat. Okay, you can you can take the ham and down a notch. Everyone made a commotion, applauding cheerfully. Yay! <laughs> I felt I was bested, but I was so soundly beaten that it unexpectedly felt rather refreshing. Huh? Hey, wait. All of them knew from the start and still got so excited so earnestly. You. Jeez, tone down the screaming man. This is why we're not playing with penalties. What do you mean you'll go easy? You made me play a game that I had a severe disadvantage at. Psychos. Uh huh. The other free members held down my arms and shoulders firmly. What? These people are insane. Mion approached licking her lips. Oh, I don't like this. Her right hand went to pull something out of her pocket. That's a felt tip marker! And it's a giant permanent one! Come on, we're a dude, and this is a class filled with nothing but girls. We can overpower them. <laughs> and make a run for it. She took the cap off the marker and brought it slowly up to my face while I was immobilized. Jeez, come on, jeez. I let out my death throws. In case you forgot, you're playing Higurashi when they cry. Oh good, the ice cream man is here. Oh wait, no, that's the school bell. 
We're going home. As soon as the club activities were finished, Rena flew off. Probably so she could dig out that cute Colonel Randy that she wasn't able to take home yesterday. So today it was just Mion and me walking home together. A rather rare occurrence. Who destroyed Colonel Sanders anyways? Mountain of Treasure, meaning that damn construction site from here. Or from before. Oh, right, Mion would probably tell me. That murder by dismemberment that seemed to have happened there. It was a bit different from what I wanted to hear, but I decided I'd listen just the same. What the I don't get this. It's like, we'll just destroy this town to build a dam. That's fine. Oh, brother. This background looks nothing like the real village. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, I don't like nasty people. Mion spoke excitedly, as if the whole thing was happening right in front of her. Oh, heck yes! Victory over the federal government. I approve as an American. Oh, they didn't go all 1776? <laughs> That, you know, this is probably the more effective way of dealing with it. Less people die this way. Although someone still died this way, I think. <laughs> oh, of course there were lots of it! <laughs> oh, yeah, she promptly cut me off. The same as Rena had. Her words signaled the end of a discussion. Tomotaki-san said one arm wasn't found in the incident. I thought that a murder by dismemberment had occurred, but I guess I was wrong. My curiosity unsated, I sighed dejectedly inside. I know, man, I wanted there to be a creepy murder mystery as well. <laughs> I can't wash that off at all! You drew an impermanent marker! Mion held back her laughter while stealing glances at my face. I wonder what kind of nasty doodles they drew. You didn't even look in the mirror? Maybe... Do they not have mirrors at school? Damn you, Mion! You shall rue this day! <laughs> if our rules are ever reversed, I'm going to go all out. All over your face so you won't be able to take it off, even with a scouring pad. You have been watching Higurashi When They Cry.